Hi everyone, welcome to Catherine's Plate. I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my show today. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, I'd like to thank you for coming and I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button down below with the bell notification and you'll always know when my shows are posted. Today, I am making an easy cake. With Memorial Day coming up, I want a cool, refreshing, delicious dessert that's easy to make. All right, y'all, if you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make the easy strawberry poke cake. I'm going to go over everything that we're going to need. Now the first thing we're going to do is bake the cake. So we're going to need a cake mix and then what we're going to need are the ingredients that go with the cake mix. So three eggs, one cup of water, and half a cup of oil is going to be needed for this one right here. And I am using a strawberry cake mix. You're going to need some jello strawberry mix. I've got a bowl of strawberries this is just to decorate with and then I've got, y'all, we're making it easy, I got vanilla frosting to top the whole thing off with. All right, well, let's get started by making our cake mix. All right, so I've got a medium-sized bowl here to make my cake mix. Now, you can use a boxed cake mix, like I'm using this Betty Crocker Deluxe Strawberry Cake Mix here, or you can use like other flavors. You can use a white cake mix, yellow cake mix, um, vanilla cake mix, or you can make your own cake mix, okay? So whatever you do, just make just make the instructions per the back of the box, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead now and add my cake mix, my three eggs. I've got half a cup of oil and one cup of water. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and mix this up until it's completely mixed. So I'm going to go ahead now, I'm going to be cooking this in a 9 by 13 baking dish and I'm just going to lightly spray it. And we're going to take our batter, pour it in. Oh my gosh, it's so strawberry. <laughs> it smells so good in there already. Alright y'all. I'm going to place this in my oven and I'm going to bake it per the directions on the back of the box for a 9 by 13 baking dish and we'll be back. All right everyone, my cake has come out of the oven. I've let it rest for about 10 minutes inside of the baking dish. That's where we're going to keep it. Now our next step is we want to poke holes in our cake. Now I'm using a straw. You can use a fork, you can use the back end of a wooden spoon, whatever's going to give you the holes to poke into your cake, all right? The more holes, the better, all right? But you don't want the holes too big, okay? So, I'm going to start right here and go down, come up. So the next step is we're going to take a three ounce box of Jello. Now I'm using strawberry because that's the flavor we're going to be using. And I'm going to be putting it into a measuring cup here. This is about a two cup measuring cup. This will help pour the Jello all over the cake. Carefully get it in there. Now I'm going to add one cup of boiling water to my Jello. And we're just going to stir it up until it all dissolves carefully. All right, we're going to let it sit here for about two minutes and then we'll be right back. All right, it's been about two minutes. We're going to go ahead now and take our jello mix here and we're going to pour it all over the cake, getting into those holes. I'm going to stick this in my refrigerator for a couple of hours, probably about two hours. That way that will help cool this down and it will set that jello. So we'll be back. 
All right, so I've taken my cake out of the refrigerator. It's been about one and a half hours. I can't wait. <laughs> and there's some other people that can't wait either. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and top it with our frosting. Now I'm using a vanilla creamy supreme frosting. You can use whatever you want. If you want just to use like a Cool Whip topping, you can do that. Or if you wanna make your own topping, you can do that also. So we're gonna go ahead and spread it on the cake while it's still in the baking dish. Now what I like to do is take my knife and put it in there and just kind of really stir it really good because it kind of softens it up. Might be getting a spoon and eating it out of there. <laughs> Whatever doesn't come out. Oh, somebody took it already. Somebody's licking it out of the container already. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and decorate the top of this cake now with some fresh strawberries, so I'm going to cut these up. All right, so I just took the top off, and then what I'm doing is just cutting these into nice little dices there, because I'm going to sprinkle these all over the cake. Now, you can do whatever you want. If you want to put whole strawberries on there, or if you want to just half them, it's your cake, your design. All right, so I've got all of my strawberries diced up, though I did have to try a few along the way. Mmm, they're so good, y'all. All right. I'm just going to take handfuls of them and just sprinkle them over the cake. Who's ready for a slice? Oh, I know I am. Mmm, can y'all see any other places I need to put strawberries? I sure cut up a lot. Look at that. Just kind of poke them in. <laughs> My husband wants a piece right now, right? My mom wants a piece. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm just going to kind of push them in a little bit so they don't roll off the cake. There we go. What do y'all think? Strawberry poke cake. Let's dive in. All right, y'all. Here's my piece. I'm so excited. Strawberry cake, strawberry jello, and strawberries with vanilla icing. Yeah, we did that. <laughs> mm. Oh, I don't know if y'all can see that. Can y'all see that jello went in there? Oh my gosh. All right. Mmm. Mm hmm. Uh oh. I think it just disappeared. I get this right here means he wants it. <laughs> All right, y'all. That was the most delicious, easy cake. You saw how that came together. I'm telling you what. An hour and a half in the refrigerator, then top it and eat it. All right, y'all. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification so you'll know when my shows are posted. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> My husband's over there doing the happy dance. I know y'all asked to see it, so no, nope, he said not today. <laughs> All right, y'all, I will see you on my next episode.